Hello and good day, I am Sir Domanais and welcome to Home Classroom. Today's lesson is about identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. But before I begin with the lesson, let's have a simple jumble word game. I will give you 3 seconds to guess the word. Are you ready for the first word? Okay, our first word is 3 seconds for you, 3, 2, one. You guess the word? And the word is environment. An environment is the place where we live in, composed of living and non-living things. Get ready for the second word. This is our second word. Two words. Three seconds for you. Three, two, one. You guess the word right? And the word is human activity. Human activity is an act of people that may be useful or harmful to the environment. You ready now for the third word? And the third word is 3, 2, 1. If your answer is pollution, you got it right. Pollution is when land or bodies of water dump with garbage of any kind, such as bottles, plastic, toxic waste, chemical waste from factories, and other land that cause the land, water, and air becomes polluted. Ready now for the next word? Our next word is 3 seconds 3, 2, 1 And the word is If your answer is recycle You got it right Recycle Is making use Of waste materials And our last word is Are you ready? Three, two, one. And the word is harmful. Harmful is causing damage to one place. Now you have a exact idea of our topic. Let's move on now to our discussion. To start with my lesson, I will show you some of the materials which are reusable and recyclable which I actually found here in our home or you might have it also in your home. Let's name them one by one. First item of recycled material is an empty box of donut. Instead of throwing it away, I use it as an organizer for cutting tools, pens, and marker. Next recycled material is an empty plastic bottle of soft drink and a canister which used for planting. For reusable material is a wooden stool. Instead of throwing or burning it, we made it as a mini chair. Next reusable material is an echo bag. With the use of this echo bag, it could minimize the use of plastic bag in carrying items. Next, I usually collected hookahs bigas, which can be used for watering the plants. Vegetable and fruit peeling can be used as a fertilizer. And last is leftover foods that may serve for animal or pet food. Recyclable and reusable materials could also be the cause of damaging our environment if not being managed well. 
bodies of water like river and land when dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastic, toxic waste, chemicals from the factories and others may become polluted. Water pollution is very harmful because the fish will be harmed as their habitat will be destroyed. Trees when cut can also be harmful. It causes soil erosion, blood in the area, and can be very harmful because some animals live on trees. Motorized vehicles, ashes, and other dust particles also become a contributing factor for air to become polluted. However, there are changes in the environment that are found to be useful. The utilization of animal manure for fertilizers for good harvest and converting you star as trash bin what we have learned today is that changes in the environment can be useful if it benefit the people or the community harmful if it meant to destroy our environment now we will do the thumbs up and thumbs down. Thumbs up if the situation is useful. Thumbs down if the situation is harmful. First, cutting and shaping pieces of used wood into baby crib. Thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is thumbs up. Next, leaving waste materials outside the gate. Time, thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is thumbs down. Next, the clogging of water pots. Thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is thumbs up. Next, involving in the cleanup drive in the community. Thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer is thumbs up. That's it for me today. This is your Sir Domanae saying happy learning, good day, and God bless.